A lot of traders use Bollinger Bands for technical analysis to measure the overall volatility in the market. The indicator was originally invented by John Bollinger in 1980s and it helps determine whether the prices are high or low on relative basis. In my opinion, Bollinger Bands is a quite good indicator, however, because it was created so long ago, it slowly becomes outdated. So in this video, I will show you my top three trading view indicators that work 10 times better than regular Bollinger Bands. They'll bring you so much more profits in the long run and the best part about them is that they're really easy to use even for beginners. Okay, without wasting any time, let's jump straight into it. Okay, on the third place, we've got an indicator called BB underscore buy and sell. Let's add it to our chart. This indicator by Gert Roth. This is basically a buy and sell indicator based on Bollinger Bands. The indicator also comes with a bar colors, which makes it so easy to read. When the bar color changes from green to red, this is a signal to go short. And exactly opposite is true for buy signals. If we double click on this indicator, we see that it provides many customization options. You can use the EMA for Bollinger Bands. This will obviously affect the signals. You can also tweak these parameters and find the settings that potentially work the best. It's not recommended to use this indicator on its own because it does issue some fake signals. But those signals could easily be eliminated if you added a volume or a second confirmation indicator to the chart. For example, let's use whole suite. And let's also change the settings. And the rules are really easy to follow. The sell signal is only confirmed when the price action is closed below the whole suite line and the line is colored in red. And the buy signal is only confirmed when the price action is closed above the whole suite and the line is green color. Also notice how well this bad sell signal was eliminated. Even though the price action was closed below the whole suite, the line was green color, which doesn't confirm the sell signal. These buy signals are also not valid. So yeah, we can see that the indicator is doing a really good job, especially at the times when the market is trending. And even when you take a look at the choppy market, we see that these signals are not confirmed. But once the price action starts actually trending, we can see that the strategy is catching really nice wins. Of course, you will encounter losing trades. There is no strategy that would work 100%. But if you want to maximize your profits even more, you can also add a volume indicator. For this example, we're going to be using a volume oscillator. And now in order for this sell signal to be valid, we need to have the oscillator greater than zero. We see that on a candlestick we had a signal on, the volume was below zero. So you would have easily eliminated this losing trade. Obviously, this is just an example. You can use different indicators with this Bollinger Bands buy and sell. But overall, I think the indicator is doing a really good job and you should definitely give it a try. Okay, on the second place, we've got an indicator called the Bollinger Bands Filter. And this is also a modified and improved version of Bollinger Bands. The indicator includes Bollinger Bands, the colored moving average, the buy and sell signals, and it also comes with the bar colors. So the rules for entering a long position are really simple. We basically need to have the price action breaking above the Bollinger Bands for the first time. This is when the green triangle will be printed below the price. For this strategy, you can either set your stop loss at the moving average or at the lower band. And we can see that the recent trade we had has been running in profit. For short entries, the rules are exactly opposite. The price action has to break below the Bollinger Bands and the signal will also be confirmed by the red triangle. If you had a really good exit indicator, you would probably close this position somewhere right here. But if you do not want to use a separate indicator for that, you can use Bollinger Bands for your exit as well. 
All you need to do is to close a winning trade as soon as you have a green candlestick appeared on a chart. We see the risk reward ratio is definitely looking good. Obviously the indicator is doing really well in a trending market. But because it issues signals like this, you definitely need to add a second confirmation indicator to the chart. You can either choose a line cross or a zero cross indicator. For that, let's just use a regular ADX with DI. And in order for this buy signal to be confirmed, we need to have the green line sitting above the red line and this blue line to be above this 20 level. If the conditions are not met, we simply skip this signal. Exactly opposite is true for short signals. We would only enter a short position if we had the red line sitting above the green line. And just like with the long trades, this blue line has to be above this 20 level. If we zoom in, we can see that the conditions were not met. So just like that, we eliminated two losing trades. Also take a look at how accurate these entries have become. So yeah, definitely a good indicator to backtest, give it a try and see how it goes. Okay, we finally got to the number one indicator on my list and this tool is called Bollinger Bands Oscillator. This indicator by Verifid. Not a lot of people know about this amazing oscillator, so make sure you save it to your collection. This tool basically displays all the information of Bollinger Bands, but with a handy oscillator to help locate entries. If we double click on this indicator, we can see that this red line is called the basis. The oscillator line is colored in blue. The trigger line is colored in yellow. We also have the upper and lower Bollinger Bands and the candle line, which I don't think is really useful. The entries or exits can be found when the oscillator gets in or out of the bands. For example, you can either take a short position when these two blue and yellow lines cross in inside the bands. But if you're looking for some more confirmation, you can get into the trade when the oscillator leaves the bands. Obviously, this entry is a bit late. The same works for long trades. You can either take a long position somewhere right here when the actual oscillator gets inside the band. Or you can take a long position right here. In this case, the entry price isn't that different. Also notice very important thing. When the price is moving sideways, there is no gap in between these oscillator lines. And this can be really useful because you do not want to be entering the trade somewhere at this point. So I would add another rule to only enter the trades when there is a gap between these lines. If for some reason you missed a long signal somewhere right here, you can enter a continuation trade when you have a new cross on an oscillator. Obviously, I do not encourage trading with this indicator on its own because no matter how good the indicator is, you need a second and a third confirmation. So I would definitely suggest adding at least a baseline and the volume indicator. And the rules for the strategy are simple. You're basically waiting for the oscillator lines to cross outside the bands. And for the signal to be confirmed, the price action has to be closed below this whole MA and the line has to be red color. And the volume histogram has to be bearish and it has to break above this moving average. Exactly opposite would be true for long entries. First, both blue and yellow oscillator lines have to cross the Bollinger Bands upwards. The price action is closed above the whole MA and the line is green color. And to confirm the signal, the volume has to be bullish and it has to be above this moving average. Okay traders, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found these indicators useful. Also, if you want to see some more super accurate indicators, check out this playlist right here.